Okay, y'all. Today's video is a home theater DIY finished product. I want to take you into the home theater and show you how that guy over there designed and decorated his home theater all by himself. Let's go in and take a look. Welcome to Rod's Boom Boom Room. Or, as normal people will call it, the home theater. He has really taken his time and designed and decorated this room. He says it's not complete. I say there's nothing else that needs to be purchased for this room, but who am I? So just some of the features that he put in here. We'll start off with Alexa, turn on big screen. So he has the lights set up to come on with Alexa. Brighter. And they're on a dimmer so you can brighten them or dim them to your ch choosing. Now, one thing that he wanted w were sconces, which we were not able to get at the time of the build. But I think he still made the room work even without them. Other features that he has with the lighting would be Alexa, turn on movie room. And as you can see, he has the lights that come on. Alexa, turn on big screen. Okay. Alexa, turn off movie room. Now, just to start with some of the furniture in here, because we did not get outlets in the floor, it was important for him to find chairs that he could recline without having to plug them in. So these chairs, the couch back there, the ottoman, we found all of these in Macy's. We're able to uh, get these. These are just simple recline pushback. So you just sit in the chair and push back. The riser that you see the couch and ottoman on, he built himself. And I'll insert some still photos of that project happening. of him building the riser. He did paint the walls himself. All the painting, we went into a model house about a year after we lived here and saw the black and white theme going in the model houses. So he came home and changed out his door knobs and painted the doors black. Um, all of the picture frames that you see, these are all from Hobby Lobby. And then he just ordered his posters online that he put inside the frames. The screen he ordered online and uh, we started out with one screen, wasn't big enough and he upgraded to this screen. I feel like this is like 135, I'm not sure, but I had to help put that together. That was a, a chore. But the um, cabinets that you see here, 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 these are Ikea. Got these from Ikea. We're still trying to get the door to that cabinet, Ikea, 
does not have it in stock. So that's been open like that. There's a frosted door that's trimmed in the cream color that he's been wanting to put on there, but they don't have it. A lot of the uh, wall decor, Hobby Lobby, popcorn machine, he ordered that through Amazon. These tables, I forget where he got these tables from, but I do know he painted the tops of the table to match the coloring in the Ikea cabinet. So the tables did not come in this color at the top. He painted that. Uh, now all the electrical stuff, like the projector, I'm not, I mean, he ordered it, but I don't know anything about the specs and all that stuff. Speakers, the house was wired with Speakers, there are speakers behind the screen. I think there are three, two speakers behind the screen that the house came wired with. And then the side speakers the house came wired with. Now, as they were building the house, he came in himself and ran wires for these two back speakers that the house did not come included with. So he ran those wires and the people who were doing the uh, she rock were nice enough to leave him two holes for those wires that were not intended to be here. The speakers above head, I came home from work one day and these were in. So he's been slowly adding to this room as he sees fit. He feels like he needs more speakers, but I say absolutely not. But he tends to do what he wants to do. The plant that's sitting on the subwoof over there, I think that's home goods, probably. Um, the curtains he ordered online. He did the color scheme himself, picked the curtains, hung the rods. And they are floor length curtains, so they do go all the way down to the floor. These candy jars, he got them out of uh, back room Macy's. He just came home one day with those. So I think he's supposed to continue to fill this up, but just hasn't gotten there yet. Just the design concept, the decorating concept. I think he did a, a pretty fabulous job by himself with deciding what he wanted, how he wanted, and making it happen. 